Hey everyone, so today's video is a haul. It's mainly a mixture of a couple of stores. I don't know. Um, I figured I might as well go ahead and get out of the way before I forget about things and push them into the back of my drawers. Or, yeah, not push them back into my drawers because I use my things, but you know what I mean. Okay, first thing, I got these shoes. Um, I actually bought them for to wear to my bridal shower because a lot of my clothes are packed up for a move to Orlando because we basically packed everything up except for like two weeks worth of clothes. And so I didn't really have any shoes and I was at, I think I got these at Belk. And they were originally, I think, I forget what the sticker said. I'm thinking they were like $60 and then marked down to $50 and then 20 or fit and then 50% off. So I got them for 25, which I thought was a total steal. They're by the brand Kenzie Girl. I have huge feet, so these are size nines, but they're so comfortable. Like the padding is really squishy on the bottom, and it's just like I guess this hemp ish like twine, I don't know, material and kind of an army green color. So on the top, they just kind of crisscross. They're really thick and sturdy and it's just a strap across your toes. That's gross that you can kind of see those marks, but whatever. Um, yeah, I really like them though. I like how they stay true to shape even when you're not wearing them. And then the bottom is just whatever this stuff's called, tweed or hemp, I don't know. But I really like them, they're super comfortable. So if you have a bulk around you, definitely check them out because $25 for these shoes was a total steal. They had them in cream too, but I figured with fall coming around the corner, green would be better to have because I can still transition them. Um, I forgot to bring my dress with me. Oh well, okay. Um, I've got this really cute leopard dress from Charlotte Russe and then it was like plain so I wanted some kind of hair accessory. I got this little hair clip. It's just like a coral flower but like a cheapy clamp where it like slides down your hair. So this one has like teeth on it so it'll grip. But I thought that was really cute and girly. Um, next thing, I got this a while ago, but I just never showed you guys from Jewel Mint, but I never showed you guys. I'm sure you guys all know what Jewel Mint is. There's a million videos on YouTube about it. Packaging, and they're the Versailles earrings. I got them for my wedding. I was looking through so many different kinds of earrings. I didn't know which kind to get, and so I tried a couple pairs on. I couldn't, nothing looked right, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to order these anyways. So then when I went to go get my dress fitted, I tried these on with them, and they went perfect. So I don't know. They're not too heavy, and I don't know. I thought they were really cute. I think you've probably seen these as well, but the detail on them and stuff. Everything is mixed in this Sephora box, so sorry if it's like scrambled and not all in the same store. Um, a couple weeks ago, Sephora was having a VIB offer where if I, I don't remember, it was like $35 or $40, then you got this little Makeup Forever sampler kit. I haven't really tried too many things by Makeup Forever, so I was like, okay, well, this is the perfect opportunity. So it came with this little cute makeup bag that you can use in your purse. Um, it came with a sample of the Makeup Forever HD powder. It is good, but I don't think it's amazing. Like, I think it gets way too much credit. There's a definite white cast with it. Oh wow, this is my liquify. But then it came with a smoky liner or whatever, Makeup Forever eyeliner, which I do like. And then this was probably my favorite thing that was in it. It's the Lab, Sh Lab Shine Lip Gloss. I guess it's from the Star Collection. I think it's like S2. But it's just this really sheer kind of champagne -y gloss with fine milled glitter in it. It smells like peaches and it's, a brush applicator which I really like they don't have the full sizes of these at the Sephora here yet but I definitely think I'll be picking up one of these I don't know I'm really liking it I don't know how well it'll swatch just because like I said it is sheer but it smells so good and I'm interested to see what other colors they have and then it also came with a Makeup Forever Smoky Lash which I do like um, not my favorite mascara but it's not all that bad either not that you guys really care to know what this is, but this is deodorant. Basically, I was trying like a million kinds of deodorants and everything was like making me itch and just, I don't know. I, so I ended up like trying Tom's, which I guess was another natural option, but it was still like bothering me. So somebody recommended this. I tried it and I've really been loving it. $18 for deodorant is kind of steep, but it works. So yeah, I just got mine in pure vanilla. Two Aussie products. When we were in Orlando, I forgot hairspray, so I just picked this one up. This is the Opposites Attract, and it's extra strong hold with a touchable feel. Feel? Wow. Feel? I actually really do like this. It definitely does hold without giving you crunchy hair. And then this one I just picked up yesterday. I ran out of my Schwarzkopf leave-in conditioner in Moisture Kick, so I just picked this one up to try in the meantime. I haven't tried it yet, but it's just the hair insurance leave-in hair. hair 
hair insurance. That came out really weird. Um, hair insurance leave-in conditioner. It's, it smells like all the other Aussie products, just really coconutty. For whatever reason, I felt I needed this because I had the other two, but this is the Wet n Wild 8 Pan Palette in Blue Had Me At Hello. I haven't used it yet, but the colors are really pretty. I really do like this one. So there's that. Um, I also picked up this powder while we were in Orlando because I completely ran out of my MSFN while we were there. I was like, really perfect timing. So I just picked up this translucent powder, which the top is disgustingly dirty. Um, but it's from L'Oreal, it's a bare natural, and it's just the finish in translucent. I do like this powder. I think the applicator is stupid. I don't know. It's messy, and like the powder doesn't come through. Like you have to unscrew it and put the brush in, and it just gets everywhere. So I just use another brush for it. It does take the shine off your face, and it stays and it stays matte on your skin for a while. So for drugstore loose powder. This is a pretty good option. From CVS, I picked. Oh, I'm missing one. Oh no, here they are. I picked up three sinful colors nail polish. This one was in my July favorites, which is Rich in Heart. Then I picked up Mint Apple, which is just this really pretty mint apple color. And then this one, which I really like, it's called Nirvana. It's just a really pretty taupe nail polish. It kind of reminds me of a darker version of the Berry M in Mushroom. Um, I also picked up this Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Color, and the name's totally not on here. But it looks just like this. It's It took about three coats. I thought it was gonna be a little more opaque than this, but in the bottle, it was really pretty. It just kind of looked like a holographic nail polish with like teals and purples. Picked up this nail polish, which I already showed you guys, the Ulta Pinata Yada. Four lip products from CVS, all being Revlon. One of them is the Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Pink Pop. These are probably my favorite lip glosses, like from drugstore and high-end. I don't know what it is about these. I love the formulation. I love the color. I love everything about it. So there's Pink Pop. And it's and then I also picked up Coral Reef, which I haven't even opened yet. It's just this really pretty corally color. Who would have thought? So there's Pink Pop and there's Coral Reef. If you haven't tried the Super Luscious Lip Glosses yet, I definitely recommend them. Then I picked up two of the Revlon Colorstay lipsticks. Both of these are gorgeous. The first one is in Fuchsia. Looks just like this. And then the next is in Candy Pink, which I thought was gorgeous. So two really bright and bold colors. This one almost looks like a toy, like plastic. Candy Pink, you definitely have to build up to get more color. But there's Fuchsia and there's Candy Pink. So I think the Pink Pop lipstick would the Pink Pop lip gloss would be gorgeous over the Fuchsia lipstick. Then I picked up two blushes from Ulta. All of Ulta's makeup was on sale, and so these are the Extreme Wear Matte Finish Mousse Blush. This one is in Berry Glow. I've just been picking up the product with a stippling brush. I really like these. It gives you a really pretty dewy natural glow rather than like a powdery finish. And then this one is in Peach Glow, which is kind of gross. There's a brush hair in there, so forgive me. But there's Berry Glow and then the Peach Glow. They don't swatch as pretty on my hand. On your skin, once you blend them out, they look really good. This was also in my July favorite, so I won't get into this, but this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 13. I'm definitely gonna be picking up more of these. I absolutely love them. Then I picked up another mascara from Maybelline. This is the XXL Pro Extensions, and I always get mine in waterproof. It's the one that has the primer on one side. It's what I have on my lashes now. It's been helping hold the curl, and it makes my lashes really black, so I love this. Then I picked up this Nivea Lip Balm in A Kiss of Milk and Honey. I've seen other people talk about this, and I was like, ew, milk? Like, milk just sounded disgusting. Like, I hate milk, and the thought of milk in, like, chapstick made me want to vomit, but I was like, okay, maybe the honey part will be good. So it's yellow, but it smells so good. Like, it smells like pure honey. Like, I almost just want to bite it, but this one, I love these. Burt's Bees used to be my favorite chapstick, but these have definitely, like, kicked Burt's Bees to the side. So there's that. Then, I think everything else is from Sephora. Oh, no, there's this. I picked up a lipstick from Mark in na, 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 Pinky. The packaging is really cute. It's magnetic, and it looks just like this. I really like the finish of this one. It's super glossy. It's like a luster. So that right there is pinky. And I think, no, never mind. 
and I thought I had a scent. Just kidding. Okay, so now everything else I believe is from Sephora. Okay, I'll just show you the samples I picked. I don't know why, because I always like seeing people's samples. Some people show them, some people don't, whatever. Um, this is the clean, and it's not even in here now, is it? I like seriously just got this package today. Okay, it's the clean perfume, which I haven't smelled yet, but it sounded good in cotton t-shirt. Then I patient sample in terracotta skin. And then this stuff is disgusting. Um, I think it's a cologne. I don't even know if it's for men or women. Maybe it's unisex. Ooh, Tom Ford perfume. That probably smells good. Okay, it's in Black Orchid, which sounds appealing. I think it's a cologne. I don't know. But this, it smells like urine in a bottle. For some reason, I thought it was going to smell good. So I, like, squirted it on my wrist to smell it. And at first, I was like, okay, it just smells like cologne. And then, like, you know, I let it settle for a little bit longer. And about two minutes later, I smelt it. It smells like cat urine that was, like, collected into a bottle. It is repulsive. Like, it's musky like a man and then smells like cat pee. Like, so unless you're, like, trying to get a stampede of alley cats to chase you i would not recommend this i think it's absolutely repulsive if any of you guys wear this i apologize maybe it just works different with your body chemicals but i don't know i think it's gross okay and then sephora was having a sale online on some of their products so of course i had to pick it up and then they had another um beauty insider offer they always get me with that like i need to just not look online but basically if you spent fifty dollars you got um at first i thought it was full size but it's a full size pen of the dolce and gabbana light blue which is one of my favorite perfumes light blue and flower balm are probably my two favorites so it looks just like this it's still a good size of perfume but yeah that's the main reason i placed an order so boo on me but whatever now i have extra perfume um, so yeah, like I said, they were having a sale. So the first thing I picked up was the Sephora Hydrating and Smoothing Foundation. I think I just picked mine up in the lightest shade that was available online. I don't know, it just says D28. Um, and it came with a pump, so I liked that. So it looks just like this. I haven't used it yet. I probably won't till I need some more foundation. Then they had some Stila stuff on sale, which I was, I've been wanting to try the Stila Tinted Moisturizer forever. This is the Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 15. They only had it in shade 1 and 2, so I got it in shade 1. This stuff is normally like 30 something dollars. I think it was 10 bucks, so I jumped on that right away. But here's the packaging. It's really cute. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews on it. I think everybody likes it for the most part, so yeah. Then I picked up another Stila product, which is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. They had this in silver and gold. I don't know why I didn't just pick up the gold one, too. I think these were either $5 or $10. I forget, but it's in the shade Silver Dollar. This color is so pretty. So it's just like a little retractable eyeliner pencil. But then I have like a million swatches on my hand. It goes on incredible. Like, okay. It's like better than the milani liquify like it just glides right on are you ready for this ready 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 Pew. like it goes on like freaking liquid lava or something i don't know here let me make a thicker swatch but that's it right there once you let it set for like 20 seconds it does not move i don't know i put it on my hand earlier and then i was like trying to smudge it and it wouldn't do anything so that's pretty exciting but it's a smudge stick but I guess like you have like 20 seconds to smudge it. I don't know. But yeah, this is in silver dollar. These are still online. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. And Stila's packaging is always so cute. Like the little stars. I'm digging it. Then the last thing I got was like the thing I was the most excited for. I have so many eyeshadows. So at first I was like, you know, should I order this? But I don't have that many matte eyeshadows. Like not many at all. I think the only matte shadows I have are like the two that are in the naked palette. And then maybe like five or six mac shadows that are matte other than that everything is always like shimmery so i don't own any Too faced eyeshadow palettes so i picked this one up and it's a Too faced oh i didn't even know it came with a shadow insurance sample um the Too faced matte eye palette so it looks just like this just like all the other ones lift them up and then you get your shadows and little cards right y'all so yeah, this is my first Too Faced palette. I didn't feel a need for, is it the natural eye one? Because I felt like it was a lot like naked. But I'm so excited for this. But all the shades are completely matte, which I don't know. It's hard to find matte eyeshadows. So Coffee Bean, London Fog, and Midnight. And then this is Chinchilla, Pebbles, and Vintage Violet. This is Tufted Suede, Velveteen Bunny, and Fresh Linen. So I'm so excited about these. I've been dying to get some more matte shadows. 
So yeah, that's it for my haul. Nothing too crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. It's totally free. So yeah, that's it for my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! So I picked these up from Dillard's. No, Belk. Dillard's? No, Belk. I picked these up. Why do I look like a zombie today? My hair is so cute. My feathers are hiding. Okay. No, I'm making gumbo. I'm filming. Yes. Okay. Anyways.